Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. We are going to do all problems from weekly contest 304. Let's get started with the first problem. The first problem is called make array 0 by subtracting equal amounts. Let's try to take an example. So the example they have given is 15035. So you have to find out how many operations you have to do to make all the elements of this array as 0. So first of all, if an element is already 0, you can just ignore the element. Okay? Just consider all the remaining elements of the array which is 1, 5, 3 and 5. Now take the smallest of these elements. What is the smallest of these elements? It is 1. right? So then subtract 1 from the entire array. So once you subtract 1 from the entire array, uh, you will be left with the array that will be left with will be um, 0, 4, 2 and 4 right. So now again you can ignore 0 if element has become 0 you can just ignore it from the remaining elements consider the smallest which is the smallest among 2 and 4 it is 2 right. So subtract 2 from the array after subtracting 2 from the array the array that will be left will be 2 0 2 right this will be the new array that will be left and by the way two elements have already become zero so you can ignore them now again you can consider the smallest element smallest element is two so you can subtract two from this array and the remaining you will be left with is zero so all elements of the array have become zero how many operations did you do so you did three operations right so first operation we subtracted one second operation we subtracted two third operation again we subtracted two so total number of operation that we did is three so the answer for this case is equal to three okay let's try to take some other example to understand and then we'll build the logic okay. let's say i have some elements three eight fifteen okay thirty something like this so let's see what we are going to do so again the logic remains simple um, we have to make all the elements 0 take the smallest element which is 3 right so subtract 3 from the entire array if you subtract 3 from the entire array what will you be left with 0 5 12 27 right now again you have to take the smallest element 0 is done one element has become 0 let's see the next element so next time 5 is the smallest element among these three elements right so subtract 5 5 5 from this and what will you be left with you will be left with 0 7 22 right and two elements have become zero now again take the smallest element among 7 and 22 the smallest among 7 and 22 is 7 so subtract 7 from both the elements what what array you will be left with you will be left with 0 and 15 right so three elements have become zero and you are left with one last element which is 15 so to make it zero you have to subtract 15 okay so once you subtract 15 the final array that you will be left with is 0 0 0 0 you have made the entire array as zero so what you are basically doing let's see the number of operations first of all in this first operation you subtracted 3 3 was the smallest element next operation you subtracted 5 next operation you subtracted 7 next operation you subtracted 15 okay so what is happening is you are doing total four operations you are subtracting four times so the answer for this is four okay but what are you actually doing so uh, you are actually um trying to make all the elements as zero so first time the smallest element will become zero. Second time right second time what will happen the second smallest will become zero. Third time the third smallest will become zero. Fourth time the fourth smallest will become zero so in total you have to do four operations right it's as simple as that it we don't care what amount is needed to make these elements as zero we only care how many times right we only care about how many times you need to do the operation to make all the elements as zero so it's very simple right first time make the smallest element zero second time make the second smallest as zero third time make the third smallest as zero fourth time make the fourth smallest as zero that is what is happening right so you can see in the first operation the first uh, smallest element is gone second time the second element is second smallest is gone third time the third smallest is gone fourth time fourth smallest is gone so what is this this is very simple you are actually you need four operations to make four elements as zero right in this array you had four elements so you need four operations to make it as zero okay let's see other example okay let's let's say if our uh, logic is valid for all other examples okay let's say you have 3 8 11 11 17 okay how many operations do you need to make this as 0 without even you know trying to list down the operations we can easily see what what you will do first time you will make the first smallest as 0 right so you will subtract 3 once you subtract 3 what will be the array the array will become 0 5 8 8 and 14 right first time what you did you subtracted 3 okay now let's write the array the next time next time what you are doing next time you will subtract the second smallest so next time you will subtract 5 from all the elements so what will happen the array will become 0 0 3 
and 9 okay so you subtracted 5 and this is the array now third time what will happen you will subtract 3 okay you will subtract 3 when you are subtracting 3 what will the array become now you can see that in this time when you are subtracting 3 since these two elements were same in one time itself in one in one iteration itself two elements are going and becoming zero right both these elements are vanishing okay so what is happening see first time first time the first smallest element vanished first time the first smallest element vanished and became equal to zero right um, first element has gone second time what happened the second element is gone but you can see in the third time two elements are gone why are two elements gone because two elements were same so the third smallest element is being shared by two elements so third time both these elements are gone right both these elements are gone okay so in the third iteration in the third operation two elements are gone now what is happening in the fourth operation let's consider in the fourth operation you will subtract six and all the elements will become equal to zero so in the fourth operation the fourth smallest element is gone Okay. So what is basically happening is in this array you have four elements that are unique that is why you are you need four operations first time first smallest will go second time second smallest will go third time these two which are both equivalently third smallest they will go four time the fourth element will go okay so what is this you are just counting the number of unique elements in the array right and so let's take another example to test if our logic is correct let's take this example. So how many operations do you have to do to make all the elements as zero, right? This is the question. So first of all, which elements are already zero? You you don't need any operations at all to make these as zero. So you can ignore them or delete them, uh, whatever you want. You can consider, but you need not even uh, take these elements. Okay, let's see from the remaining elements. So remaining element, the smallest element is two, right? So if the smallest element is two, you are going to subtract two from the array. So once you subtract two from the array. Uh, this this element which is the first smallest in the f in the first iteration that will become zero right so in the first operation the first smallest element which is two that will become zero and what will happen to the remaining elements they will get subtracted and this will become like this okay so already some elements were zero and first smallest has also become zero in the first operation okay what will happen in the second operation the second smallest now how many elements are second smallest these are the second smallest elements right in the entire array the second smallest element was were were these elements right were these elements so in the second operation the second smallest elements will become zero so you will subtract three what will happen these elements will become zero and what will happen to the remaining elements remaining elements will uh, get subtracted so five minus three is two six minus three is three and you have these elements right so in the second operation second smallest elements are gone let's see the third operation what was the third smallest element so this was the third smallest element right the third smallest element was seven so in the third operation the third smallest element is supposed to become zero so this will become zero and what will happen to the remaining elements remaining elements will get subtracted by two right so you will have this okay now what will happen what is the fourth smallest element in the next iteration the fourth smallest element which was eight right fourth smallest element which was eight that that will become equal to zero because you will subtract one from the entire array Okay, so in the fourth operation, the fourth smallest element has become zero. Now, what is the last last smallest element, which is the fifth smallest element, which was ten? So, in the fifth operation, in the fifth operation, you will subtract two from the entire array and make the fifth smallest element as zero. So, how many operations have we done totally? So, we can check. So, one, two, three, four, five. Why did we do five operations? Because there are five unique elements in the array, right? We did not consider the repeated elements. We have five small smallest elements in order. If you if you consider, you have five smallest elements, right? Why are we considering only unique elements? Because consider, for example, the second operation. In the second operation, both the fives will become equal to zero, right? In the second operation, the second smallest element will go. All the occurrences of the second smallest element will go. And become zero right so you need to consider only the unique elements how many unique elements are there in there and you can ignore zero that's it this is a simple logic so how can we solve this problem very simple how to find out unique elements we know that there's a simple data structure which is called set which will store the unique elements what you can do you can just convert this entire nums array from the beginning to the end and convert it to a set so what you are doing you are just inserting the entire array into a set so this will make sure that you have only unique elements remaining in the array so you can just count the unique elements and then what you can do you can just return s dot size so this will be your answer but there is just one small thing so you should not consider zero right so if it is a zero you should check it okay so what you can do so from the set what you can do 
you can check if s dot begin right s dot begin will be the iterator at the beginning if it is zero right you can delete it from the set okay so you can just consider this you can consider this is if the beginning element is equal to zero then what you can do you can just erase it from the set right you can just erase um this element from the set or what you can do you can simply return s dot size minus one you can do like this also okay you can do this otherwise you can return s dot size okay that's it this is a simple code now let's run and see if it is getting accepted so it's a very interesting simple problem let's submit and see if this code is getting accepted so it's accepted now let's move to the next problem